All right, y'all, it is supper time here in Kentucky. I sat down on the couch, it was daylight, and I thought, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a few minutes. I wake up an hour and a half later and it's dark. I was like, whew, I must have been tired. I guess I'm sleep drunk, but that was a great nap. But my belly's hungry now. I've had lunch, had dessert. You know, we had that lemon bunt cake, lemon blueberry bunt cake, and Mason and I tore that thing up. It was delicious. It was so, so good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a quick and easy supper because we're not all real hungry. Daddy, if you're watching, look what Lucille had for lunch today. Y'all, this is my favorite place to eat. Favorite fast food place to eat, Cane's. It is the best chicken in the world, Raisin Cane's. If you haven't had it, try it. You will thank me later, I promise. So I'm gonna shut up. Well, I'm gonna shut up talking about my life. And we're gonna make the TikTok uh, viral recipe of yeast roll pizza. And I took 10 of these Rhodes frozen dinner rolls. I put them in my greased pan this morning and I've let them rise all day. And I have washed my hands. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fingers like this and I'm just gonna push it out the bottom. And this is gonna be our pizza dough crust, y'all. Easy, ain't it? So there we go. I'm gonna make sure I get all these seamed together, just like that. And preheat your oven to 425. That's what I do. And I'm using a nine by 13 casserole dish. So, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna salt, pepper, and garlic powder my, my crust. Check these bad boys out. Got these off the TikTok shop. Talk about the easy way to pepper. Yeah. Put some whole peppercorns in there. You seen how quick that was. I used to turn it upside down. Then we're gonna salt it. Same thing with salt. Just put some whole granulated sea salt up in there. Boom. That's a good TikTok find too. I'm gonna link it and let y'all check it out. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder because we like garlic. You gotta give, keep them old vampires away if you know what I mean. Okay, next, we're gonna add pizza sauce. Y'all know this is my favorite. You use what you want. It don't bother me at all what you use. I just always tell y'all what we like. So, no hate, please. I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm just gonna swirl it around. We don't like a lot of sauce, so I didn't use much. I may have used two tablespoons, if that. We're just not saucy people. We're, sp we're sweet and spicy, but we're not saucy. You know me, I have a sense of humor and I like to be funny. So if I say some things sometimes, please don't take offense to it because I'm a good person and a sweet person and I wouldn't hurt anybody's feelings or nothing. So when I say use what you use what you got, I don't care. That's part of my humor coming out. I'm being me. So no disrespect to anybody. That's just some of my sayings and I'm gonna keep on saying. Okay, to this, add your toppings of your choice. What I've got is pepperoni, I hate pepperoni, but I'm putting pepperoni on here because it's just me, Matt, and Mason tonight. They love pepperoni, so I'm gonna just use, use what I got in my fridge. It's almost like a pizza refrigerator clean out, you know? So let me get the pepperoni spread out on here real quick. Hit pause. Well, foot. Okay, I've got my entire nine by 13 dish covered in pepperoni. Three fourths of this is gonna be the boys. Rest of it's gonna be mine. So you know what mine's gonna have. Mine's gonna have mushrooms, and I'm dumping the whole can, and I drained it, and it is a four, and a four ounce can. So I'm just gonna rearrange my mushrooms on here, that way I get a lot in one bite. And Blake's not home tonight, so guess what? Mama gets all the mushrooms to herself. Now, I'm gonna add sliced green olives with pimentos. These are my favorite. I don't like black olives, but I love green. I think it's the salty and the brineness. And guess what? I'm out of banana peppers. I used them all the other night in the uh, Mississippi chicken. So banana peppers will not be on this pizza. Hmm, you gotta have a bite. All right, drop some. No olive can be left without being eaten. Or excuse me, ate. All right, now I'm just gonna cover it with cheese. Let me show you this cheese that I found at Kroger's. It is the best and I'm eating a bite. It is the best piece of cheese I've ever found. It's by Private Selection. It's pizzeria style blend. It is mozzarella and provolone and it's thick cut. This doesn't have wax on it like most prepared 
um, cheeses do, at least I don't think it does. And it melts and it tastes so good. There's nothing like a homemade pizza with freshly um, grated cheese, but I'm also out of block cheese. So we use them what we got. Again, this is um, refrigerator clean out pizza. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit more cheese. And this is Kroger brand also, but it's not private selection. It's just pizza blend cheese. So we're gonna open her up. And I'm covering the crap out of mine with cheese. Matt's not a big cheese person, so I'm leaving his and Mason's side like it is. But I'm adding a lot more to mine. Again, you can't have enough cheese. All right, there we go. I'm gonna bake this in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes on 425 degrees. Y'all, when you're making pizza, use what you love on your pizza. Again, mine is just a refrigerator clean out pizza. I just went through there and seen what I had on hand and made a quick and easy supper. And that's basically what I had and used. Hannah loves using Alfredo sauce instead of pizza sauce on hers. I love pesto. I don't have either one of them damn thing, excuse me, dang things on hand right now. So again, I just did a refrigerator clean out pizza. Use whatever kind of toppings you want. Make it your own. Make that, excuse my language, what I'm fixing to say, but make that pizza your bitch and make it like you want it.